What's up everyone, Keontae Moron here. You might be very confused to why you're looking at me from this angle. Uh, I'm sure this is how a lot of my friends who are primarily over six feet tall see when they see me, except not at a 19 millimeter, but probably a 35 millimeter because this is an APS sensor and I believe the crop is 1.5 and that's how you know I'm obsessed with camera specs now. All right, so I wanted to go ahead and make a video. I've been watching nonstop videos on cinematography breakdowns and we are in the bathroom because I'm looking at a shot from the film Psycho, which I finished halfway through and I got tired of it, so I have to rewatch it. <laughs> Plus I kind of already know the spoiler in a way, but um, shout out to Alfred Hitchcock because you know, back in the day he was making bangers for real, but you've only seen like probably one or two of his films. I know I'm a filmmaker, that don't mean I watch everything, okay? But because, you know, shot deck, I don't even know how the pricing is, but it's not. I don't know if I can do the pricing for it right now. So I'm currently using Shot Cafe. And um, I just put in shower because I have a shower and I've been wanting to do like this overhead scene. Originally, I was going to make a short film. Maybe I could still do it. Nothing stopping me. But I want to make a short film using top down lighting but I was like well we can save that for another time I just want to practice something so um, I'm gonna put it up on the screen here is a shot that I'm trying to replicate from the movie Psycho I don't know what scene is referring to but I know that I have a shower that has a, a rail right so that thing right there and I just realized I don't think I showed y'all but that's what we use to keep the tripod up <laughs> all right just put it up here all right, so um, this is the angle from judging from the actual clip. It seems like, now look, if my eyes work the way I think they do, shadows usually come up from when light, like I get a shadow because the light is coming from this way. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm also take the curtains down to make it more accurate. All right. So you get shadows, I would think, from like lighting going this way. So you see the shadow and everything. Can you? You, you get my point. You don't see it. There you go. Right? You see that shadow and stuff. Now, in this scene, there's a lot of shadow when they, they walk in the room. Right? So I would think that the light... I would think the light is coming from this way. I'm obviously not gonna use the lights that I have here. I'm going to see different versions that I like. I have three different options. I'm either gonna use my Pavo tube, my little small Nan light, or I'm gonna use one of my Godox. I think they're both Godox 60. Um, one is bicolor, one I think is just daylight. So I'm gonna try those options, see which one I like more, but either way, I might do a bounce, even though I know this is harsh, but it's gonna look very saucy if I just point it directly at me. So I'm gonna just bounce it towards the wall and see how much spill it creates. But hey, I also just realized that it's filmed in black and white. So now I can use the Hanser for film emulation. But even besides that, I'm not sure if the color temperature will, will impact this scene that much. So let's just like to see what happens. All right, let's just talk about the flag. Here we go. Now, I have never used this yet. I bought a set of flags for me to use in the future. Do I know how to use flags? Yes. Have I used these? No. So if I went into credit card debt, get all this stuff, I'm also gonna learn how to use it. Do I want you to watch me struggle making this? Of course not but it'll be a very humbling experience. But because I have YouTube University, I'm gonna go see how they put this together. I'll be right back. I keep telling people, oh, Keontae, you must be strong. You can do this. These muscles are for show. What don't you people get? They're for show. These are show muscles. You know SpongeBob when you have the inflatable ones? Yeah, they're dense muscles, but they're not for strength. It's for aesthetics. I don't want to mess up the shot because I mean, I set up the whole point of this thing was to match the frame as well as everything. So um, it's weird. I don't really see much shadow right now. 
I actually don't. Yeah, I don't. Maybe it's because I bounced it against the wall. I tried this light. So right now I have the regular bathroom lighting. And this is what it looks like if I set up with the Godox splashing in because I realized trying to do it as a book light, there's no shadows. And pretty much like I said earlier, in order to get that shadow look, it's to come from, at least in this case, in this bathroom. It's going this way, I need light coming from this way. And pointing it outside in, I'll show you what it looks like. And I mean, I do have the lighting that I want. Obviously you get spill. I could use, I'm trying to connect my phone right now. I could use something to cover up the, the spill if need be, push comes to shove, but it's not really that deep. So let's go ahead and do like a little test run. The, the, I mean, the main thing about low key lighting, it's like shadows and having harsh lights, if I'm not mistaken, like low key, um, harsh shadows and faces aren't really full of light compared to high key lighting, like comedy stuff. I have it at 43 intensity. So, oh dang, you get a lot of spill this time. It's not as bad. It's definitely way more brighter. But in the original shot, it's highly lit anyways. So me to be focusing on shadows and stuff, I think the main thing I'm trying to get down is this, which when you clear the shot, it gets what I want. I'm, I stop right here. I look up and then I say, there's no shower curtain. It is a Pavo tube right here, where these are the lights I use to turn it on. Obviously, I don't know if I should turn it on like that, but um, those are the three lights I use to light the, the bathroom, and it bounces off going off this way, and that's what gives me the look I want. Uh, and here's the Godox that I had flashing in here. And the reason why I didn't really like it, just because I want to try a little different, and uh, too much hot, it's too hot right here but the intensity feels like it's very low surprisingly compared to when I have it hella high. So let's try something else or let's try to try to up the lighting and move it maybe this way a little bit more. Stand back in position. And both lights on. And let's turn the Godex off. Let me see what that looks like. I'll go ahead and see what the difference is. So these are the lighting shots I'm looking at. I'm looking at all three right now. The third one looks very moody. And that's just the Pavo light, which it's not really what I'm going for. Second one, I believe, had the Pavo tube off and it just had the Godox. And then the third one I had, you can really see the spill right here on the side of my head in the first photo. That is definitely with both lights. I don't think you can hear in the back, but while I'm sitting up, I have to iron the shirt because it's hella wrinkly. I actually wear that same outfit for work. <laughs> so, I mean, it's a good job. I can use that as like props and costume design, but um, I have Lewis Potts in the background. He's a great dude. Uh, I, I love his content, his cinematography breakdowns. I met him for a couple of seconds while sitting in line uh, when I flew down to Beverly Hills to see Danny Gilberts. Uh, I think I'm sick. I mean, Danny's, don't get me started on Danny. I got to meet John Carlo, Maddie Hapoya, and like I said, Lewis Potts. Met a lot of amazing people on that trip. And um, yeah, he was just chilling in line. I was, and this is when I first found out about him. I didn't know his name. So I was like, hey, you make YouTube content about cinematography breakdowns. He said, yeah, that's me. And he came from another part of the world. Like that was insane, just amazing. But I think I'm sick, is doing well. Shout out to Danny Gavertz. Much love, much love, Danny, to the crew, John Carlo. Uh, I met so many great people that day. Karsten, uh, I believe Patrick, just a lot of great people that day. And and, uh, and and my people, if you know, you know who you are. I love you all. But I just wanted to bring that up because I do like watching cinematography breakdowns nowadays because I gotta learn it. Um, it just makes it much easier to communicate with a future DP, even though I DP my own stuff. Um, learning cinematography breakdowns is something that's very important to me and very, you know, I, I just like learning new things, especially when it comes to lighting. Uh, but I only wanted to come here and say that because I have to iron this shirt. I'll uh, be back and we're gonna go ahead and shoot the shot. Went through all that hassle of hours of 
just trying to figure out this scene, but we have to work on composition and lighting. And like I said, there's a cinematography breakdown. So of course there had to be some type of timing on how long it took to film this part, but we got the part I wanted. All right, here is the next shot that we're about to recreate. Like I said, I do not know this part, but I just grabbed the still because I like the shot and here we go. This is a setup that I had for it. I had the goat axe going down, pretty directional lighting uh, towards the sheet of paper, very simple shot. And then I actually used what they called a finger, which is kind of funny to block out and create that shadow exactly just like the uh, original shot has so it wasn't as complex as the rest well at least the beginning which obviously took forever now for this next setup it is actually a what do you call it it looked like it was a looking through a peephole I don't know if it's a peephole. It was it, well, it was a peephole, not the one that's made for the door, but a handmade probably. I don't want to know the reason why, <laughs> uh, but uh, I'm going to set up the same light, the Godox, except I'm going to use the Amazon box that I had in the living room, uh, and just threw it over there just to act of it, put a hole in it, and tried to use that as it, and it actually worked. But I learned my lesson. Do not look in the freaking light. I don't know what I was thinking. Wait, and, and I have context and I have bad eyes. But I decided to look into the light reflection. Just don't do what I did. Please and thank you. Well, I tried to get this shot. And now there's water all over the floor. I think it's time for me to go to bed. Here's me setting up the light setup. It's like a side light for the next shot that I'm doing. The only problem was it was so, yeah, I tried to diffuse it, but it kept spilling on the wall. So I kind of took it off and just went with the hard light. And I raised it even higher to recreate the raccoon eyes thing when it comes to lighting, just because it, it was like too much light spilling through. I ended up not even using the diffusion. I ended up just using the hard light, getting rid of the diffusion, pointing straight from the side. And here's what I shot. Well, that marks the end of this video. Thank you all for watching. I hope it was worth your time as I'm up at three, four in the morning practicing cinematography, but I'd much rather be up doing this than not doing anything. So it would be very nice of you to leave a like and comment on how you think I did, even though, like I said, it's like my first time actually practicing cinematography and lighting. Um, and uh, yeah, usually I have way more energy for these videos, but <laughs> your boy tired, a long day and up at 3 a.m. But like I said, I live for this. I love this stuff. If I didn't, I wouldn't be doing this right now and being so dedicated. So also subscribe to the channel. Uh, they took my watch hours away because I was being a little scammer. So that's kind of what I deserve. <laughs> But thank you all for watching. I hope you have a blessed one. Take care. And um, I'm probably going to regret it. I'm going to try to recreate the shower scene. <laughs> I'm going to put hot water. But hey, at least I take a... Well, it's not free. I have to pay for the water bill. But a free bath. Goodbye.